lucid dreaming in 2023 this is there is i promise going to be new information in this video so just chill out i will get to it okay this is important stuff the world has changed i don't know if you've been paying attention or if you know but the world in the last three years has changed enormously from in many ways there's many things that have happened in the last three years that mean learning and practicing lucid dreaming are now different it's not the same as it was three years ago the same techniques don't apply you need to use a different a much different very different approach now than you did three years ago so let's get into it the first thing that's happened is there's a lot more and i will bring this back full circle and i promise it'll be positive but i'm going to start with the negative so i can end with the positive there's been in the last three years a lot more stress you may you probably have seen this right lots of stress uncertainty the ground has been changing and shifting underneath our feet different groups trying to do different things agendas governments restrictions you know the stuff right the world is changing and along with that has been there's been a lot of fear and along with the fear there's been a lot of very low vibration energy around the world as well as high vibration i would say in equal proportions because much like anything with nature very balanced right so just as the dark has been increasing the light has been increasing to an equal amount but the result of that is that depending on which way you orient yourself within you will either now be more in the light more relaxed happy joyful and abundant or you may have unfortunately gone the other way and been wrapped up in all the fear and the uncertainty and the doubt and it's fine i'm not i'm not judging i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that because you know we're just human we all get programmed by something in some way right so you can't really avoid it but as a result of that let me tie this back in when you're more stressed you're much less likely to lucid dream you're more likely to have a nightmare and so you may have been having a lot of these stress dreams or fever dreams almost these weird vivid nightmares that kind of don't really make much sense and you don't know why you're having them so there's good and bad about that i'll get on to that but that's the first thing right so 2023 and onwards there's more stress which you could if you decide to get more involved in of course you don't have to and that's the topic for another video you can choose to either go in one direction or the other but that's just how it is at the moment there's a lot of stress fear uncertainty doubts as well as a lot of potential and opportunity and love and abundance so that's the first thing okay the second thing technology now as i'm sure you know in the last three years a platform called tiktok has massively exploded gaining its first million users significantly faster than any other app previous and continues to grow you've well you know this right tiktok i don't really care one way or the other i post to tiktok but i don't use tiktok so it's really just to catch people who happen to be on there but i wouldn't recommend you use tiktok to be honest unless if you're already there follow me or if you want to but if not i wouldn't advise you to download tiktok uh, and because the reason for that is because the algorithm on tiktok is much more dangerous than the algorithm here on youtube they're both not ideal you know youtube is no perfect example of an algorithm but that being said the tiktok one is significantly worse okay it does one thing and one thing only it adapts to you to keep you on the platform as long as possible even if that means stressing you out giving you the wrong information polarizing you triggering you upsetting you or just keeping you stupid <laughs> to be honest watching these pointless videos which are just literally engagement bait they're just designed to keep your senses tingling to release dopamine and th so therefore to keep you scrolling for hours and hours wasting your life while some chinese company gets rich and yeah of course you could say well it's entertaining i get that and i know how addicting it is because the reason i had to uninstall it was because i was so addicted to it i just couldn't stop scrolling it showed me exactly what i wanted to see you know and i would just scroll for ages but you know for a lucid dreamer not good news no bueno so if you are if you have it installed uninstall it in my opinion in my humble opinion of course if you don't have it installed i wouldn't really recommend it you're not missing much okay it's just a bunch of pointless little videos can be useful but there's no filter there's no there's no way to tell it what you want to see and what you don't want to see so you can kind of get tricked your, your brain can kind of get hijacked by it if you just look at a video for just a second too long boom the algorithm knows now and it will show you more of those even if you weren't really that interested in it and you just really just were curious what the video was about doesn't matter the algorithm knows this video this topic keeps them on the platform slightly longer than the other ones so now his feed is going to well, his or her feed is going to be this type of video very dangerous so the first problem stress the second problem technology and tiktok because it fries your brain and it releases dopamine when 
you really shouldn't be releasing dopamine. We, as humans, have evolved to use dopamine as a motivation tool. So we would hunt or run away from something or whatever, and we would get a release of dopamine, which would tell us, tell our, our brains and tell us that this is good, repeat this behavior. Hunting is good or exercise, effort, working out, building shelters, these things are good. Therefore, here's some dopamine to keep you like, you know, wanting to do it more, basically. Now you can release infinite amounts of dopamine with no effort whenever you want for as long as you want. And dopamine is an interesting substance because unlike many addictive drugs and the substances, there's no safe zone. There's no there's no safety net. Like for example with coffee or alcohol or something like that. You get to a certain point and if you ingest any more of it, you your body stops. There's a safety mechanism. You either throw up or you pass out. With dopamine release, there is no such mechanism. You, you just keep producing it until eventually you become tired and wear yourself out. And they proved this with rats. I don't know if you've seen this study with rats, but <laughs> they, inge they um, implanted an electrode in the rat's brain and they gave it a button. When they press the button, dopamine gets released in the rat. They put the rat next to the button and then beside the button was some food. And basically, long story short, the rats starved themselves to death by just constantly pressing the button. They stopped caring about food even when they were starving. Now, of course, we're more sophisticated than rats, I would like to think. That being said, you know, our brain chemistry is very vulnerable to attack. If you think of our brains like a computer, it's literally like having the world's first computer with no antivirus operating in a world like today with very advanced technology, enormous AI databases and capabilities, algorithms, entire skyscrapers full of teams of people who use algorithms and data to make you more and more addicted to their platforms. This is a very dangerous place to be for a brain, <laughs> unfortunately. So in my humble experience, the best solution is just to turn it off. Just don't engage with it whatsoever. Uh, don't install TikTok, don't use it. And when you use YouTube, be sensible about it. You know, don't just watch whatever the algorithm suggests. Try and decide what to watch, much like with lucid dreaming. Try and make the conscious decision about what you actually want to do, what content you want to watch, why are you watching it, do you really need to watch, you know, this particular video for two hours or is a two minute clip enough? Okay, so that's that's the technology problem. And then alongside the technology problem, you have the issue of echo chambers. Reddit, Discord, TikTok, Twitter. These become echo chambers where anyone can have a voice and if one person says something, another person can repeat that. And before you know it, everyone's repeating it, but it's actually wrong and nobody bothered to check whether that first person was correct or not. And so what happens then is that, you know, you just get opinions forming in these little echo chambers when they might be the wrong opinion, it might not actually be true. So you do need to be a bit careful with that and decide who you listen to, you know. Don't, don't just listen to me even, just listen to like, listen to me alongside 10 other people and just see what you know what each person's perspective says what what does each person say and then decide what you resonate with and what you think or what feels most authentic to you so how do you lucid dream in 2023 then well first you avoid or eliminate as much as you can those things so you reduce your stress as much as you can meditation <laughs> not watching horror films playing violent games these sorts of things second you don't engage with the algorithms that are designed to essentially just addict you to their platforms. Don't engage with them. Don't, you know, don't install the app. Don't use it. You're the product, okay? If, if the app is free, you are the product. It comes at a very high cost to you. So, and then third, decide who you listen to and what information you take on board. And then fourth, going beyond that, you need to just basically once you've removed those distractions and those things hijacking you, just stick to the basics, you know? Things like getting a solid sleep, eight hours, keeping your stress levels down, eating a good, a good diet, and sticking to one or maybe two proven techniques, like the mild or the wake back to bed. And I have videos about these on my channel, but that's it for now. So let me know what you think about this. It's a new era of technology and development, but I don't know. There's some things that are not quite right. And hopefully this video makes a little bit of sense and you can kind of navigate those. So let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.